Stage 2.4 of 720 degrees. I did decide to apply tier two upgrades. So there you can see I've got eight of the upgrades now and get a feel for that. See how that feels on this track versus only having tier one upgrades. For this race, I am supposed to get up to third place. You can win it if you want to. I would recommend finishing with the minimum. Again, the reason for that is to keep targets lower and keep bots slower going forward. Sometimes, like if there's a speed record or a speed snap or an autocross, stuff like that, sometimes those targets can be harder if you were winning by big amounts earlier. That is normally how it works in our everyday uh, series, like in road collection or in motorsports. If you win by big amounts, it's going to get harder. If you lose by big amounts, it's going to get easier. So we just kind of use that algorithm to our advantage and be strategic in what we're doing here. So already I can feel the difference. This car is feeling more balanced. The, the handling is better. I feel the minor improvement in acceleration. It certainly makes a difference. So I'm going to blast my way up here and then fall back later on in the race. Now, we're coming up on this section that I've been having trouble with. So I'm going to start to pay attention to my surroundings. Like, there you go. You see how I'm already improving my braking point. So don't worry about it. If you blow a point here and there, it's not the end of the world. Just try to learn from it. Try to learn, like, where were you braking the last time? Back it up. And keep backing it up. Um, generally, you want to have your braking point far enough back that you can get back into the gas no later than the midpoint of the corner. Even a little bit earlier can be better. It, it does depend on the corner, but if you want a general rule, you want to be back in the gas by the midpoint of the corner in general. So if you can't, if you're still on the brakes and you're exiting the corner, then you started braking too late. Like. Um, a lot of people talk about how is this car faster than me on the straightaway. Well, your speed on a straightaway is all about how you exited the last corner before you got on the straightaway. Like these aren't drag races, we're coming out of corners. If you're starting from a dead stop, that's totally different. But if you're coming out of a corner, well, when did you get back into the gas? So, and you can keep backing that up. Like your speed on a straight is based on how you entered the last corner before you got on that straight. So there's a lot to it. That's why guys like my friend Speed Junkie, that's why they are so amazing at time trials. I've learned a lot from Speed Junkie by following his ghost and uh, just looking at his trajectory. And that's actually where I noticed about him getting back into the gas, often before the midpoint of the corner. And there's just a, there's a lot you can learn by following the top players. And he certainly is one of the best. You know, he was even in that McLaren competition. So, good friend and fellow game changer, Speed Junkie. There we go. So there we are in third place. And you know what? I'm basing, I'm considering how these bots are driving and it's just day two. I'm going to apply another stage of upgrades. So I'm going to take this to all threes because it's already feeling like this is going to get harder. And, um, not spending any gold yet, so I'm not really worried about that. Oh yeah, people always ask me, how do you unlock stage two so early? Okay, I'm in Canada, so I actually got this update on May 11th, and I start day one on May 11th. So May 12th happens for me a few hours later, and I can do day two. So that's how I get that done so quickly. All right, so I've applied all tier three upgrades, and I will be starting day three with 3333 three, three, three for upgrades. Total cost M dollars 708,221. Thank you for joining me.